Hello and welcome to TPM's 4-Minute Friday. Today I want to take a uh, little bit of time and take a look at how you can use images and embed them into your schedules. So a lot of people are not aware that you can actually use images inside of your schedule. So we'll uh, take a look at using a maybe a furniture schedule and show you how we work with images. So let's slide on over to Revit and take a look. All right, so you can see I've got a uh, simple little project here to demonstrate the concept of how to work with images. And uh, we've simply got furniture. Uh, some chairs and a table. Uh, we've got it tagged out already, so nothing unusual at this point. And uh, for sake of time, I've already created a schedule. And you can see whatever data you have, this should be pretty uh, standard for most people familiar with schedules. And notice we have an image column here. Now there's two ways of working with images. One is if I pick on a element, this chair, you see I have the image option available as an instance parameter. Uh, this is probably not necessarily the best way of working with this. It has advantages, but it has a lot of disadvantages. Because if I do add this as a image and drop it in place, please note that I've only added the image to that one chair. So when I go back to my furniture schedule, see it's only there at that one. Most people are going to be doing some type of equipment schedule or furniture schedule. They're going to consolidate this. So it would probably look more like this. You only want it listed once. Well, since only one of those chairs had an image in it, it's a you know gamble as to whether it's going to be the one I've got that's going to show up in the schedule. So probably not the best way. Uh, you probably want more consistency in the fact that you're working with a particular image for a particular family. So we're going to remove this image, and we're going to replace it with a type image. So you can actually have imagery as part of the family type, which is what we want to do. At least I'm going to show you the options you have available for that. Now right now they're not, I haven't edited them to take advantage of this. So let's go back and take a look at working with the chairs or and or table here. So this time, rather than having the chair and working with the image on the instance properties, we can look at the type properties. And you'll see from here, we also have our type image. Here's the problem though, you'll see it's grayed out. I cannot edit that. It's actually a relatively good thing because if you think about it, that image is unique and specific to that one particular type. So this really shouldn't have easy access to sw swapping out the image at this point. So you really are going to edit the family and embed the image in the RFA file, the family file. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to take, a, take that chair, edit the family. And when we're inside the family editor, we simply look at this box right here, our family types. From here, you'll see we can drop down and choose our type image. Again, set to none. So we select the uh, field, click on the dot, 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 and we want to bring in a raster image. So I need to add one. So I'm simply going to go to my library, go into my furniture, seating, and there it is. That's the image I want to use for that chair. OK. I'm going to go ahead and load it into my project. Overwrite the values. And now you'll see if I pick a chair, a different one, but it's the same type. I now have that image in there. Let's just go ahead and do the same thing with our table. So right quick, we're going to edit the table. Take a look at the uh, family types. Uh, quick note here, this might be collapsed. Notice that these groupings can collapse and it might not be visible immediately. So you're going to want to expand out this button so you can have access to the type image. So again, dot, dot, dot. As you can see, I've already got this one loaded up for sake of time. Pick OK. And then we load that into our project. In this case, we want to load it into our project, not the other family. Override it. And now you'll see we look at our schedule. It's here. And since it's a type image, we're getting the images in that type. And since they're all the same image on one type, we get it listed here. You also might be saying, well, I don't see an image. That's right. It, this screen, this is really just indication that you have an image there. You don't actually see the image until you place this, the uh, schedule out onto the sheet. And now you'll see we actually have those images embedded in. And of course, these can be sized just like the rest of our columns. Now, one thing you can see here, of course, I don't have the same image size. So you would want to take a little bit of time and uh, edit the imagery, the raster image, so it's the same number of pixels, so you would have the same size images for each uh, element that you've scheduled. So again, hopefully that gives you an idea of how to work with images that are embedded inside of your schedule. It's simply a field that you add in 
to the uh, schedule. Uh, you just determine whether you want the image to be an instance parameter or whether you want to use the uh, type parameter of you working with an image. So there you have it. Hopefully that helps you out, maybe helps clarify some of your scheduling and some of your quantification. And that's how you use views or images inside of your uh, schedules. So thank you for the time, and we'll see you next time.